uh, these organic solar cells, they are basically using the indoor light. It's uh, very light and it's also flexible. And uh, yeah, it's also semi-transparent so that we can incorporate it into the surfaces of different materials. The world is in urgent need of more clean energy to combat climate change. Solar energy in urban environments provides a vital source of energy where it's needed. But huge blocks of solar panels may not blend in with the city environment. Feng Gao is working on an alternative solution. Now we use a lot of silicon solar cells, yeah, which are very good actually, they are high efficiency. They are not always suitable for urban settings. For example, if you want to use it for your houses, maybe you prefer something kind of look beautiful. That's why Feng Gao and his research team are working on perfecting organic solar cells. They're made of organic materials with several features that can make them accessible for everyday life. So the advantages of organic solar cells compared with the silicon solar cells are that they can be made into different colors, they are very lightweight, and they are also low cost. They can be made into semi-transparent, they can be also made into transparent. In cities, we have a lot of windows, and in the future, we can cover these windows with uh, solar, organic solar cells with different colors so that we can make them look very good and at the same time also generate some electricity. And we can also put organic solar cells on your bags so that you can charge your smartphones while you are working in the sun. It takes three years for a silicon solar cell to produce the energy it took to manufacture it. For organic solar cells, this energy payback time is only a few months. However, silicon solar cells for now have a far longer lifespan and higher efficiency. The efficiency of organic solar cells has improved quite a lot during the past several years. Now they are approaching 20%, which is high, but which is still lower compared with silicon solar cells. And another challenge with organic solar cells is that the stability is not so good, so they cannot live very long. These different solar cell technologies, they have their own advantages, and they're also they have their own disadvantages. So we need to use the so different solar cells in different situations so that they can collectively contribute to our future. The team produces organic solar cells in their labs, but that's not their main focus. Instead, they're focusing on gaining an understanding of the fundamental mechanisms of organic solar cells. The aim is to provide guidelines to design better materials and devices. We make devices in one lab, and then we take them to another lab to do this advanced calculations and we try to see how they work. If they don't work, why they don't work? So they provide the mechanisms and the guides to better design the materials and to improve the efficiency and the stability of our organic solar cells. With this information, we hope to provide design rules for the chemists to design better materials. So we spend a lot of efforts trying to understand these devices. Feng Gao is interacting with the private business sector in a further step to make organic solar cells a part of our everyday life. Uh, we are collaborating with a company which is called Apeshine. Their focus is to use these organic solar cells to convert the indoor light, a very weak indoor light, into the power so that we don't need to change the batteries so often. Now we have a project. The student is working both in my group and also Apishine. So we are trying to make these indoor organic solar cells more efficient. <laughs>